Hey Simmers, it's Maria here. Welcome to my channel. Today I'm back with another challenge and this time this is the infamous every room is a different blank. And before you scream at me in the comments, I know that this challenge has been done by every Sims YouTuber and their mothers. But look, I really enjoy watching those and I would really like to try one myself. So I couldn't resist and today we will be doing a challenge which is every room is a different best pastel color. Maybe outside of the house could be pastel as well. And I think we will generate colors for exterior and for each room and furnish them together. First of all, let me put all those colors onto the wheel. Then we will do exterior and interior together. So this is the shell that I made. I don't know why I made it this big. Uh, what was going through my mind. I don't know. I think we will be here all day, guys, furnishing and stuff. So this is going to be a garage. It's not going to be like a part of the challenge, I think. I'll probably furnish it off camera. This is going to be the entrance, so we'll put a door. This is going to be like a utility room, maybe laundry room and a small powder room. And to furnish this small area, I think I will be using the color from exterior. Just because I have too many rooms, so we will have to combine some areas. Then this is like the main living area where we have, uh, as you can see, like living space, dining, kitchen. We will also do it in one color, this whole space. And then we have like a small hallway. This is going to be an office and probably one more bathroom, like a shared bathroom. And this is going to be the third area. And now moving on upstairs, here we have main bedroom. Uh, this is going to be maybe like a little closet. I don't know, we can play with it. This is a huge master bathroom. I like big bathrooms. It's a dream of mine to have a bathroom this big, so I think it will be fun. So main bedroom and main bathroom is going to be also one color. This is a kid's room, kid's bedroom and hallway. This is one more unit and the last one will be grandparents bedroom and uh, their ensuite bathroom finally let's generate a color for our exterior i hope we get something good because i know with some of those colors it will be very difficult to do the exterior let's do it Ooh, oh my god <laughs> yeah Pink, yes. I think we can work with pink. We have a lot of siding. I think we are good to go. And we even have pink trees. So I think we were very lucky with this one. I think we should start by choosing exterior siding or a brick. We have some stone. We have a lot of siding options. I mean, pinks are almost the same. It's like only stone color is different, but still. This siding from Horse Range is actually very cute. Uh, we could do just base game, pink. We could do like gray and pink on the bottom floor and then do the same pink uh, siding on the second floor. I really like this combination of gray and pink. Not that many options <laughs> if you think about it. I also really like this stone from Bowling. What is it called? Bowling Alley? Whatever. But I don't think that stone really suits this house. Okay, let's see if we like horse range siding. Maybe if we do columns, it will look better. Let's see. These are very cute, but I think they are almost too fancy, in my opinion. Maybe we could uh, stick to horse range. Yeah, I forgot to paint our chimney. We could do this very cute pink brick. Do we have pink here no we don't well then i guess i'll have to take some creative liberties and do white now let's do the roof tile which is probably going to be pretty easy because we have quite a lot of pink options except most of them look almost red or orange maybe i spoke too soon <laughs> okay this is pink this is probably the closest to pink that we will get so Okay, yeah, I need to commit to something, so I chose this roof tile and now let's put pink roof trim everywhere. Or maybe should we do like a thicker one? Yeah, let's do a thicker one. I think it looks nicer. Now let's quickly do the only pink foundation. 
<laughs> that we have. As for the pants, I really like this one. It's like very simple. Ah, oh, okay, but now I have to redo the foundation, of course. Let's do the same pants in the back as well. Stairs probably will have to be like somewhere here because yeah, this lot is too small for this gigantic house that I built. Now let's find a pink chimney, if we have any. Okay, we only have some weird ones. Mm, does this look like a chimney if I size it like, down a couple times? Let's try. Mm, maybe if I like raise it. No, it doesn't look like a chimney. I'm pretty sure there has to be something. I don't see anything. Will you guys forgive me if I do just some chimney? Because we need something on top. This one will do. Yeah, looks nice. Okay, doors and windows, finally. So, we have small wall height. Uh, let's see what we've got. I've never seen this door in my entire life. Why is it so beautiful? <gasps> Can we use this one? This one is also cute from Forent expansion. No, I'm in love with this one. Actually, it's also Forent. Okay, I love these windows. Now I want to put these windows everywhere. We have the same windows but smaller. Maybe these ones could go in the office area. No, let's do bigger windows on the first floor and smaller version. I'm not sure about the height, but I'll just put them somewhere for now and I really would like to have like a window up here as well. It reminds me of a dollhouse a little bit. Maybe it's because it's pink, I don't know, but yeah, it's very cute. Now we need to create a fake garage. Let's do it like... We can just use a different siding. And maybe we could put this little guy here. As for the doors, I mean on the interior. So I really want to make this house look nice. It will be a little bit goofy, I think. I will allow myself white doors. As for the flooring and the rest, I will try to stick to our rules. And I really like this barn door. It doesn't really make much sense in some interiors, but I feel like in this one is kind of nice. As for the flooring, we have a lot of pink tiles, which is nice. We have pink stone. What if we used this one? Yeah, it does look like an outside tile or whatever this is. Stone. Pink stairs. Our choices are slim, guys. So you either choose marble, which is very fancy, or club stairway with <laughs> neon lighting, or a jungle adventure stone, which is honestly probably going to be the best. I also would like to do some terrain paint uh, on our driveway. Of course it says we don't have pink, but that's lies because I know we have a cottage living. I don't know what this is, like a stone? I know it looks a little bit crazy, but I mean we have to stick to our theme, so yeah. This is going to be our driveway. Maybe I could continue it as our like entrance as well. I might put like a hedge to separate these areas. I have an idea. If we go down a level, if I raise it up, this is actually perfect placement. Perfect. Okay. I don't want to separate them like too much, but I want to do just a little bit of separation. And we could even do the same on the other side. So, okay. I did like this little entrance. Okay, we have to use this flamingo. <laughs> I mean, how can we not? So I made this very cute pink fence from Horse Range. We even have a matching gate, guys. Can you imagine? For once in a lifetime, uh, there is a matching gate. Okay, <laughs> hear me out. What if we took this huge uh, cats and dogs, whatever this is, I already sized it down and it's still huge, but it looks so nice. Look at it. Imagine sitting here. You know what? I might keep it. And the very last thing is going to be, I will paint this like um, outdoor face. And yeah, of course, I will have to use the same pink stone which we used for our driveway. It's probably not going to be like very perfect, but I think it, it looks nice anyway, so 
and I want to do like a little pathway going from our like entrances yeah like that so let's see this is our exterior and landscaping done it turned out way better than I expected but if you thought we were finished with pink you were wrong because we still need to do this little area this pink from pastel pop kit is like really nice this is like a mauve color which is nice but I really want to go for something like this so I will do the same wallpaper in this area. We have this very cute stone from... I have no idea what this kit is called. I will put it in the entrance and in our laundry room. And as for the bathroom, I will use a different pink. I really like this maximalist tile. So if I use that one, I could potentially use this more pink. I like it okay just for a little bit of variety you know let's do the entrance i would like to have a dresser or like a coat rack we have this but i'm not sure mm, no this doesn't look like an entryway this one kind of does look like an entryway dresser because i would imagine you would just hang your like coats and stuff a small side table this one has some pink in it this is a really cute table from high school years uh yeah let's better use this one what if instead of a mirror i put like these flowers here i could put this bottle here what else uh i really like this item i will use it yeah there are these lilies from dine out maybe if i size them up and then we just place this vase on top it looks like a really nice custom bouquet. Of course, we need a pink mat. I'm not sure if you want to put it like... Let's put it outside by the door. I really like these bulbs from... Uh, where are they from? Growing together, I think. I'm not sure if um, they look okay like uh, outdoor lights. But I think they are just very cute. And we don't have that many like pink options. So... Yeah, we'll use them. And honestly, I'm fine with our entrance. I'll move on to this utility room. So, where is laundry? I have no idea. Where the hell is laundry? That's the question. Okay, it's not plumbing. Appliances? Misc? Uh, yeah. Okay, so this is a dryer. And this is like a washing machine, I guess. Then we need a basket. If we are using laundry, maybe even a couple. So, let's put them nearby. And... Uh, is that all? <laughs> we have these cute wicker decorations that we can put on the wall. And we also even have a pink ironing board. So maybe I could move like these wicker baskets here. And here we can have ironing board. Yeah, there are no pink shelves, unfortunately. Do we have like a pink rock? Yeah, we kind of do. It's not really pink, but maybe we could use it. Uh, this one has pink towel. Flamingo, sure. <laughs> We already have one, so we might as well get the second one. Uh, and very quickly, we will do our powder room. Uh, luckily for us, we have pink toilets. Uh, let's do the one which to me looks more pink. We could use this one. It's uh, from Stuff Pack or Kit, which I don't remember the name of. Okay, I would like to have a small mirror. I'm not really like in love with this bathroom, not gonna lie. What's throwing me off is this old sink. Maybe if I used like a more modern one. Yeah, I think at least now it looks more harmonious. We need a pink towel. Okay, I'll use pink. Is there a pink toilet paper? Yeah, here it is. Let's put it. If I can, I'll try to squeeze in this cabinet maybe. Maybe this one is better because honestly it's smaller and yeah, the color not perfect. I don't like the towel being there. I'll put it here and maybe I could even fit like a small plant. Okay, again, if I size it up, I might move this thing a little bit just to make sure that your things can get to it. And I will just throw a couple of benches on our back porch and that's it guys. And I want to be done with this exterior. I will put this bench from Island Living. Uh, it's not entirely pink, it's like a little bit worn out, but actually like how it looks we don't have anything pink in grills okay i don't believe you and i'm right because we have this white grill but it has pink flowers so i will let it slide i want to add like a kid's bike and maybe one which is like i'm not sure for grown-up 
There is like this pool. You might think it's a little bit random, but I really want to fill in this space with at least some activities. And I will also add this flower arranging table uh, right by the entrance. We have uh, these bee boxes. I will put like a couple of them in this little corner. Just in case you wanted to do some, you know, beekeeping. So now let's generate the color for our living area. Let's spin. Ooh, yellow. You. I mean, I love color yellow, but <laughs> let me tell you. But doing this whole living space in this color, yeah, it will be painful. But anyways, we'll try to make it work. We can move on to our living space. I'm so done with pink. Even though, yeah, I really liked our exterior and landscaping. For our living space, we got a light or pastel yellow. We could just do like some kind of very light beige flooring or we could do this style from Dine Out, which is categorized as yellow. Carpet, I really like this one, but I don't see myself using carpet because so like we have kitchen here. We also have eco lifestyle flooring. You cannot tell me this is not pastel. I mean, it's very light brown, but maybe we can like pretend. <laughs> I really like this one as well. Mm, I might use this one. I really like it. Let's finally sort by yellow. Okay, this one is very cute and it's very simple, which I like. Our pink windows, of course. <laughs> Wait, if we did this wallpaper, we could tie in our pink windows with our wallpaper. And I think it's genius. And as usually, I would like to start with the kitchen. I knew we have yellow counters, which is nice. And we even have one with the white top. We do have some yellow stoves. This one is perfect. It's from Growing Together. And of course, we even have yellow fridge, which is great. Let's see if we have yellow cabinets. Uh, yeah, we do, but... I don't like that all of them are, first of all, of different sizes. And second of all, I hate this blue curtain. These are too modern. Maybe we could get away with these ones if, let's say, I used only those where there are no curtains. What if instead uh, we did cabinets on this wall? We could use plate holder uh, from the other pack. But, I mean, at least it doesn't have that ugly blue curtain. Not a lot of uh, shelving options. Okay, this is yellow. I knew the, those windows were too much. Let me delete them. Maybe I'll put the shelf here, for example. And I will keep one window. As for the yellow sinks, um, yeah, we'll have to use that one. We need just a little bit of clutter for our shelf. We can put some mugs here. It's bath salt, but I'm going to add it to the kitchen. I don't care. We could add this cute rabbit here. We have a yellow pitcher. We can add it. Yellow plates. We have some tea cans. Do we have any yellow appliances, maybe? Coffee maker or... Okay, we have electric kettle. I wanted to have an island. And yeah, I completely forgot about an island. I want to have like at least three. At least that's what I was planning. What if I took the same counter and then I like squeezed it inside? Probably now this bar will not be usable. <laughs> but at least it looks nice, you see? I feel like uh, for our aesthetic, probably these like horse range stools are the best. These plants are actually perfect, but I will put them in this corner and I feel like we need something else. Llama from Nifty Knitting. I really like this lamp from <laughs> Forent Expansion. Maybe I put one here and that's all. Yeah, I think it looks nice. And to finish this area, maybe we could put some kind of console table. I really like this console table from uh, Pastel Pop Kit. And I will add a tree. Or oh, is it too much? No, okay, fine. Oh, wait, this is a nice plant. At least some decoration here. Maybe like these mushrooms. I don't know, some skeleton. Probably makes sense to put the skeleton in the middle. And the yellow gnome. Great company, guys. 
Moving on, let's do our dining room. Now the interesting part, yellow tables. I knew we had some options, but all of them would be just something else. We have this like huge round table from where we're growing together. Hmm. Should we use like this fancy one? I'm not sure. I feel like it needs to be rectangular. And the only one which is big enough it's either this one, which I'm not a fan of, this one, or this one. And I think the choice is obvious here. It's going to be this guy. I hope we at least have nice chairs, but I might be too optimistic. <laughs> is this too crazy to use this table? <laughs> I feel like this one suits at least our rustic and a little bit like almost cartoonish aesthetic. So I'll try to be brave <laughs> and yeah, we'll use this one. Now we just need to find the rug. I'll just use this base game rug because I feel like it's like very simple, very neutral. Neutralizes, I think, the craziness of this table. I'm not sure how I feel about it, but yeah. Should we add a fire, please? This one is okay, I think. And maybe like a small like storage unit somewhere here. We do have this yellow hutch. Yeah, I couldn't find anything better, so I think we'll just use this one. Uh, yeah, this room is a lot. I will allow myself to use these like um, almost beige curtains because I know for sure we don't have a nice looking yellow curtains. So I think we'll have to just work with what we have and I feel like curtains make everything look nicer, so yeah. This window I'll just probably leave without curtain. So at least we have nice curtains. Uh, yellow art. We have these pairs which are always nice, like here in between. I actually really like this painting. I use it a lot in my builds. Yellow chicken, yes. And now a quite difficult task is to find the couch. I remember I liked one from Paranormal, I think. It's not really um, yellow, but... So yeah, I think I'm choosing between these three, probably. I kind of like this one. Let's do it and use this very vibrant yellow couch. Okay, maybe I'm just blind, but I don't see any armchairs from Parenthood to match our couch, but... I think the closest one would be, where is it? This one. I'll use this tiny living armchair because first of all, it is one of my favorite armchairs in the game in general. And I think it goes nicely with our couch. To find the coffee table is a task in itself, even without like looking for a specific color. I think the closest one would be this one from Parenthood. And of course we need a rug. If I size up this rug from uh, high school years, I think it fits perfectly, at least the size. Let's pretend it's a pastel yellow, guys. And of course we need like a TV and maybe a TV stand. I'll use this one. I will put these roses in the middle. No, these flowers match our aesthetic a little bit better. I like this cactus. Um, uh -huh, it's a succulent terrarium. And from Blooming Rooms, we'll use this just regular plant. Maybe just to finish everything, we need to put a couple of sconces. I like how simple these little guys are. Maybe I should actually add those. Maybe on either side of this fireplace, for example. And we could put one maybe like here. And one more by the stairs. I think we just need a couple more things, like maybe a painting on this wall. Yeah, I think this picture fits perfectly. And just a couple of clutter objects. I think we are finished with this area. Let's have a closer look. I mean, the kitchen is nice. And by the way, I will paint the ceilings, but I'll probably make them white because this house is already crazy enough. And this area... Not my favorite, not gonna lie, but yeah, especially that awful yellow hutch, but the table, uh, yeah, but what can we do? We had to work with what we've got. So now let's generate our office space, bathroom and hallway. 
Ooh, purple. I didn't expect to get purple for this area. I was hoping maybe to get purple for one of the bedrooms. But I mean, maybe it could be fun to do an office in this color. Let's see. Finally, let's move on to the office space. As for the wallpaper, I mean, indoor wallpaper, we have quite a lot of options, which is nice. This is one of my favorite wallpapers in the game. And as for the hallway, I think I'll just do wall paint. Maybe this one to match our wallpaper in the office. And as for the bathroom, I'm not a fan of this wallpaper. Maybe I should just do wall paint. Luckily, because we have pastel pop kit, we have this cute rug. I'm not sure if it works in the office, but it definitely looks nice. This one is not bad, but a little too much. We could do maybe like a tile actually as for this little hallway i am just going to put like a small hallway table uh, maybe like a mirror and that's it a lamp could be nice i want to use this chandelier in the office i don't know why i just want to and also i forgot to put some chandeliers in the living area so i'll put this one uh, it's from high school years I think, yeah, it adds something to this space. Moving on back to our purple area. So I'll put a candle and probably a mirror. Wow, this one is grand. <laughs> this one, I believe, also has purple sides. Maybe, yeah, let's put this one. One little plant in the corner. Yeah, very small but cute hallway. Let's start off with bookshelves, because I think it's going to be difficult. I mean, of course, we have Pastel Pop Kit uh, bookshelf, but apparently we also have these uh, bookshelves. I don't remember the name of this stuff back. Okay, what if I... Yeah, I'll get rid of this window. And then I can put... Maybe I should just do like a wall of uh, these shelves. As for the table, or I mean a desk, we have this one, of course. This one is very cute, but it's so small. We might have to use this one. So uh, we'll put it like in the middle. We'll give this person a nice gaming chair. Of course, a purple computer. Or maybe I should put that shelf back because we actually do have space for it. And maybe on either sides of this shelf, I'll put some flowers. Okay, say what you want about <laughs> a journey to Batu, but they do have some very cute flowers. I mean, like the color is just perfect. We probably need a rug. I really want to use this snowy escape one. It's small, but I mean, come on, it's just an office. Yeah, I'll use like this tiny rug. We will just put this purple lamp here and and this is burning the midnight oil lamp okay let's put that one as well okay i really like our office it's very cozy of course pink windows i would really like to cover up our windows a little bit these are actually not bad we could do these ones i probably prefer these ones because they tie in like this pink color as well and of course we just need like maybe one painting or like even a gallery wall i love these paintings we could add these butterflies maybe this bunny but I have to maybe like size it down well, looks fun i think let's move on to this bathroom okay we don't have purple tops great okay if i remove the filter can i find anything that looks at least remotely uh, like purple Okay, I found this parenthood uh, shower tub combo and I'm currently looking through the swatches and the only one that remotely has some purple on it is <laughs> this elephant one. I really don't have a choice and I will remove this window, I think. So, purple. Of course, no purple toilet. Okay, what, what is the closest? Considering this house has some kids, maybe we'll add a toddler. So, specifically for toddler, I will add one of these bodies. Oh my god, we are saved. I mean, look, it has the tiniest purple stripe, but it has some purple in it. So, if I like really, really try, I could squeeze in the sink. Probably will have to be this one. I can move this potty somewhere else. This bathroom, not great. 
but the challenge is the challenge, you know? And by the way, yeah, I understand that this purple is not pastel purple, but... And this one is not pastel purple. I mean, what can I do, guys? If I can find a towel, it would be great. Yeah, okay, I'll use this one. Is there a toilet paper? I don't think so. You will have to, I don't know, wash your butt, I guess. Okay, I will at least add like a salt for you. <laughs> but overall, I really like our office area. Uh, yeah, it's really nice. Hey guys, it's Editing Maria here. Sorry for the abrupt ending, but this video was too long already. We will finish this house in the next part. It will probably come out on Saturday or on Sunday. I'm not sure yet. Basically, when I will finish editing it. Uh, for now, please enjoy this little tour at the end that I made of the first floor. Please don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. Tell me if you like these types of challenges. Yep, and see you in the next video. Bye-bye.